Okay, next we'll look at creating an invoice. So if we look at the spec, um, upon receipt of um, booking, an invoice um, is sent requesting the balance. The balance must be paid before the performance. So let's have a look at how we're going to do that. Okay, in our database, the first thing we're going to need to do is create a query um, to base the invoices on. So I've got one here that I've created earlier. You should have done this one actually as part of your um, the queries that you created with the previous screencasts. But if you haven't, let's have a quick look at it. Okay, first of all, in data view, we can see we've got the company name, the contact name, the performance that's been booked, the performance date, and the balance due. And importantly, um, we've got this column here, send invoice. Okay, so let's have a look in design view. Okay, so you can see we're working with the table customers um, and also production schedule and productions. And if we just move over this way a little bit, okay, make sure under send invoice, you've got the criteria set as true or yes. Okay, because if it's not, we'll get all the data. If we just run that quickly. Okay, it's all there, we can see it's mixed up. Now we don't want to send invoices to those people who have already received them or paid. So we'll go back to design view and under send invoice, we'll put that to yes or true. Okay, and when I run it this time, yeah, we're back to the three records of those people who need an invoice sending to them. Okay, so once you've created your query, then go to create and report. Okay, let me need to save that one. Okay. In fact, no, we're not going to do it this way. So let's close that one down, query invoice. Okay, that's uh, the report. Let's get rid of that one. Query invoice, let's call that old so we don't get mixed up. Okay, and we'll start again. This time we're going to go to report wizard. Okay, we're going to choose query, query invoice. We'll have the contact title. We'll have their first name and their surname. We'll have the company name, the bill name. In fact, we'll have all this. Okay, we'll just put all that across to the selected fields. Click on next. Okay, and again, click on next. Okay, we don't want to sort this into any particular order. Okay, but this time we're going to go to uh, justified layout. Okay, click on next. Okay, and we'll call this um, report. So RPT invoice number two and click on finish. Oh, and I've already got one called that. So we'll call it number three and click on finish. Now you can see by using this different layout, um, we've essentially got one report um, or one invoice per page. Okay, we are actually in, in print view. Okay, if we scroll down, we can see how it would fit onto one page. Okay, so if we click on close print preview, okay, and we're back to our design view. Now we need to think about designing this and laying it out as an invoice. So we've got this report, um, but what does uh, an invoice really look like and what information should we put on it? If we have a quick Google of, um, let's go to google.co.uk and let's pop in their invoice. Did I mean invoice? Yes, I did. Okay, and images for invoice. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so let's choose that one. It's the first one. So we can see we've got a title invoice, we've got the date, we've got an invoice number, we've got the customer ID, we've got the company name from which the invoice has been sent, we've got the address to whom it's being sent to, we've got an area here of what's been ordered, okay, the amount, and we've got the subtotal. So we're not going to fit all of this onto our invoice, but we need to put what we've got, the data we've got into context of, of an invoice like this. Okay, so we finish with that, thank you. And back to our invoice. Now realistically, we wouldn't have fields here that include CT productions, name, um, telephone number, etc. We wouldn't put that in the address into the report itself. The report or the invoice would be printed onto headed note paper. So that would be a piece of paper with the logo that's already there, the, ad the address and everything. Okay, so we'll assume in our scenario that's what CT productions are doing. So we won't put that information in. But we do need to think about how we're going to lay out the title, etc. Because this information here can form part of the address and a lot of uh, invoices now are sent in the um, envelopes with windows so it can be printed once folded and then the Royal Mail can see the exact address it needs to go to. 
Okay, so as we look at what we've got, we've got a label and we've got the actual field which contains the information from the database. Okay, so we don't need both because in the format of an address, it's, it's perfectly obvious what they are. So I'm going to start by getting rid of the, the label. So I'll click on this label and click delete and that's gone. So we'll start with the contact title. Doesn't need to be that big. There we are. So we'll bring that down to there. Customer or contact first name. I'll delete the label. I just want the data field and I'll leave that a little bit longer, I think. Okay, and then we'll pick him up and pop him there. Okay, so that should say Mr. First Name. Okay, we'll do the same with the surname. We'll delete the label. Okay, we'll make this a more sensible size. And we'll pick that one up there. So that should now read Mr. or Mrs. or Miss, first name um, and surname. Okay, so we'll do the same now with the company name. So delete the label and we'll make that the right size okay and nudge this up to the top like this okay now you don't want to sit here and watch me doing all of these so i'll pause it quickly um, and we'll come back to it in a minute okay so very quickly i've done that now we've got the contact title contact first name and contact surname note how they're uh, three in a row like that then the company name and then we've got the building name or number and the street name next to each other followed by the county and postcode. I suppose I should really have town in there as well, but I've missed that one out, okay? So county and postcode. So if we quickly go into report view, we can now see the data has come through. So Mr. Alan Sugar for Amstrad, Amstrad UK, Sweet Drive, London, and the postcode, okay? We've got this information down here at the bottom, so I think we need to bring this up here a little bit more and add some context to it as well. So if we go to design view, okay? And if we come down here a little bit, there are, we can see we've now got performance there's the label so if we just pull these up just a little bit okay the performance date okay and also the balance due okay uh, we've got send invoice now that's part of the query that was to help us generate the data okay we don't want that at all okay because ob obviously they're getting an invoice so we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of the yes no box as well Okay, so to make this, we can make this read a little bit like a letter, I suppose. We could say, dear title and surname, thank you for booking performance name on, on the performance date. Your balance of balance due um, is now due. Please send this to us um, to finalise the booking. Okay, so we'll, we'll add some text labels and, and words to that effect. So we'll start with the text box and we'll draw that here and we'll just type dear. Okay. And we'll say, we'll keep it formal, we'll say, dear contact title. All I did then was copy that. Okay, so dear Mr. Miss and the surname. So we'll click on the field that we want, Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste, and bring that down here. Okay, so we're going to say, dear Mr. Sugar. Let's bring this out of the way a little bit. We'll go with the text label again. Okay, so the text box again. So we'll say, thank you for booking okay and then we'll put the performance name there so let's get rid of the performance label delete that one make this just a little bit smaller like that okay and pop that there let's make this label full size as well there we are thank you for booking the performance name and then we'll add another text box Okay, on. So I think we'll move this down here a little bit because the performance names could be a bit longer. So yeah, let's, let's pop it, just keep it there, that should be easier. Like that. Um, so we want the performance date. So let's delete the performance date label. Okay, and pick that one up and pop it there. Now that label doesn't need to be that long or that text box, so we'll make that a bit smaller. And then we can put the performance date there as well okay so some of your performance names could be quite long if that's the case and it doesn't fit fully in here when we um, put the report in design view in uh, report view it would just be a case of moving these along a little bit and making this a little bit bigger okay um, so we'll now say uh, add a label and say your balance your balance of and that's where we put balance due so let's delete the label, put the balance due there. Now that's only going to be a three figure number. So we'll make that a little bit smaller. So your balance of, 
um, from each G. Just pop another text box there. Is my G. Okay, so we could add another text box down here with um, information, for example, please make payments to ensure that your performance goes uh, ahead or worse to that effect okay we shouldn't make that bigger you could put a nice little message there and, and make it whoops it's my mistake um put words to that effect okay um you sincerely ct productions okay so now we've got this laid out so that we've got the address field we've got the dear so hopefully when we put this into report view okay it's it's asked us for a i don't know why it's done that so just pop a one in there for a minute right i don't know why that happens okay not entirely sure um but i'll have a look at that in a moment right then so we can see that we've got um Mr. Sugar, okay, uh, Wizard of Oz, we've got the booking date, and we've got the text hasn't come through. Okay, so the reason that didn't work as planned was because when I was putting in the text here, I used the text box, which is a text entry box. Okay, I should have used the label here. So what I've done is deleted those, okay, and I've um, put in labels. Okay, so you'll have to do the same. So it's just a case of going back, and so we say dear, and we can put the label. Uh, contact title and their surname um, and we'll put the label in here thank you for booking and the performance is there okay and then we'll use another label there on performance date so let me back up a little bit okay we can say with the label again your balance of so your balance of we'll have another label is now due and then you can add that little message like I did before I'm not going to do that now for time so if we go to view and report view this time we have none of the uh, parameter queries coming up as it as it were um, the search boxes um, so we've got Mr. Alan Sugar, Amstrad, Amstrad UK, Sweet Drive, London, the postcode. Dear Mr. Sugar, thank you for booking Wizard of Oz on the 5th of the 1st, 2015. Your balance of £770 is now due. Okay. Now, obviously, I've done mine very quickly. I've rushed it. You can go back to um, Design View. You can have a, a slightly different layout. You can um, jazz it up a little bit. Okay. But essentially, that's how you're going to create your invoice. Okay. Or back up to Design View. Okay, so we'll call that uh, invoice. Okay, so it looks a bit better. There we are. So that's how you create the invoice. Okay, and we can see here that we've got the same for um, the BBC. Okay, you can see dress field out there, and the same for Cardiff Theatre as well. Okay, so the report layout is the same, but the information within it um, is different depending on what we've got in the database for the customers. Okay. So now, now you've seen this um, report uh, screencast, you can go ahead and create the report, um, the invoice query, okay, and then create a report, uh, report off that query like I've done and change the layout from the standard layout to make it more like a, a, an actual invoice. Okay, have a go at that now.